wild speculation, but it's confirmed that Nollywood actor Junior Pope Odonwodo, I hope I got that right, who drowned while attempting to cross a river, has passed. The 39-year-old, who was initially rescued after the tragic boat accident, succumbed to the icy hands of death. May he find eternal life. A shocking twist of fate occurred as one of Nigeria's finest Nollywood actors, Junior Pope, finally took his last breath. What actually led to this? Could it be that he was ill? Well, come along with us as we unravel the mystery surrounding his sudden death. Now, it is one thing to go hunting for one's daily bread, but it is entirely a different story to be eaten up by those very strings of circumstances that come with life. Unfortunately, that was the brutal fate of Nollywood actor John Paul Odendowo, popularly known as Junior Pope. That day started like any other day for the Nollywood actor, ready to give his best in a movie set called The Other Side of Life, of which Adam Aluk was the producer. The movie was scheduled to be shot at the waterside of the famous River Niger Cable in Asaba, Delta State. But, however, on his way to set, he had to cross the river on a boat, alongside many other crew members of the movie, when suddenly the boat capsized. He, however, breathed his last after multiple, but bogus, attempts to save his life following the drowning tragedy. However, despite precautions taken by the production team, the safety protocols surrounding the water scene fell short, leading to the fatal accident. Witnesses on set revealed that the passengers on the boat, including Junior Pope, the makeup artist, the sound engineer, and the boat driver himself, were unprofessional divers and had no life jackets on. They struggled in the water before disappearing beneath the surface. Meanwhile, social media has caught fire with accusations against the producer for being negligent towards safety precautions. In any case, the producer, Adama Luke, has come out to clearly state that life jackets were provided for the cast and crew on set, but most of them had overlooked the use of the jackets. But the question is, who exactly goes to a farm without a cutlass? That was the case with these ones. The distraught producer accepted fault for not enforcing the use of the jackets, but held the opinion that she did her part to adhere to safety precautions. But what do you think? How many more Nollywood actors or actresses will die for not adhering to safety precautions? What steps should be taken to avoid such tragedies in the movie industry? Before we answer these questions, let's take a moment to subscribe to this channel, African Unravel, by smashing the subscribe button for more shocking things about Africa and its culture. That's not all. You can also like, share, and comment on this video if you love it. Now, let's move on. Nevertheless, the response from various stakeholders in Nollywood to the tragic incident involving the drowning of actor Junior Pope has sparked a robust conversation about the industry's safety standards and practices. Now, the Nollywood Guild of Nigeria's swift action wasn't ready to listen to the producer's side of the story, and it issued a press release condemning the negligence on the set of this movie. They also imposed sanctions on the producer, Adama Luke, which reflects a collective commitment to upholding the welfare of industry professionals. In addition, the decision to prohibit Guild members from collaborating with the producer until a thorough investigation is conducted signals the Guild's stance against complacency and an insistence on accountability. However, differing opinions exist on whether the sanctions are appropriate or too severe. While some parties argue that holding individual producers accountable for safety lapses is essential to ensure such incidents are not repeated, others say that while accountability is crucial, the issue extends beyond individual responsibility and reflects systemic shortcomings within the Nollywood ecosystem. Indeed, this incident proves the need for comprehensive restructuring within Nollywood to address issues related to safety, professionalism, and industry standards. This does not only entail enforcing stricter safety regulations, but also investing in comprehensive training programs for cast and crew members, enhancing oversight mechanisms for production practices, and fostering a culture of responsibility and transparency. Moreover, addressing the root causes of safety hazards in Nollywood requires collaborative efforts from all stakeholders, including producers, directors, actors, unions, regulatory bodies, 
and government agencies, and not just the producers alone. By working together to implement systemic changes and prioritize the well-being of everyone involved in the industry, Nollywood can create a safer and more sustainable working environment. This tragic incident serves as a sobering reminder of the urgent need for collective action to prevent future tragedies and ensure the longevity and prosperity of Nollywood. After Junior Pope's body was found, witnesses around him reportedly admitted to not performing any first aid on him. Instead, they took photos and drove him from one hospital to another, sequel to his body being confirmed dead. At the third hospital the witnesses tried driving him to, for medical attention, he was taken back to be buried by the Niger River, in line with local traditions. Moreover, the extended length of time it took to recover his body, before making further efforts to recover the bodies of the other crew members, led to a sad, multiple burial by the same river. This neglect of basic first aid procedures further emphasizes the need for improved emergency response training and underscores the urgency of implementing stricter safety regulations in the Nollywood industry. Moreover, this heartbreaking incident highlights the critical importance of basic life-saving techniques such as CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. However, as a hero, Junior Pope struggled to stay alive. He was only being transported to different hospitals without any of the Samaritans around attempting to perform first aid, which we believe would have kept him alive today. Prompt and effective CPR could have made a difference in the outcome of this tragedy, yet its absence proves a glaring gap in safety consciousness among film industry professionals. This tragedy also proves the importance of better first aid education for the citizenry. Basic first aid skills, including CPR, should be widely taught and accessible to everyone, as they can be crucial in emergencies on and off film sets. By empowering individuals with the knowledge and skills to respond effectively to medical emergencies, lives can be saved, and tragedies like this can be prevented. Following the devastating loss of Junior Pope and his crew members, the Nollywood community faces tough questions about safety, responsibility, and readiness. The tragedy has sparked a crucial reassessment of the industry's safety protocols and practices. The absence of basic life-saving measures in the crucial moments after the accident highlights the pressing need to equip individuals, both within the film industry and in society overall, with essential first aid skills. CPR training, especially, stands out as a crucial skill that could potentially save lives in emergencies. As the Nollywood community mourns the loss of Junior Pope and his crew, there's a shared resolve to honor their memory by taking tangible steps to enhance safety standards and emergency response protocols. This tragic incident serves as a stark reminder of life's fragility and the importance of prioritizing the well-being of everyone involved in filmmaking. Looking ahead, Nollywood stakeholders must unite to implement comprehensive reforms that address not only immediate safety concerns, but also deeper issues related to professionalism, training, and industry culture. But just as significant actors like Ruth Kadiri, Kenneth Okonkwo, and Kate Henshaw have communicated in their recent posts to commiserate with the industry over this colossal loss, it's up to every stakeholder in Nollywood to make things right. Furthermore, sitting back and hoping for the best will not cut it, as it is necessary that all hands be on deck to do what's essential to keep everyone safe and thriving in the industry. There is also a call for tighter safety rules, better training, and a culture where everyone looks out for each other. This way, Nollywood continues to shine while taking care of every one of its stakeholders, but till then, may the soul of a great legend and all those who lost their lives in this tragic event rest in perfect peace. It's indeed sad, but what's your take on this issue? Would you say the producer didn't play her part effectively? Or would you blame it on those who refuse to follow the precautionary measures? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out our previous video before you write off Nigeria. Watch this, Abuja Black. Excellence, what are you waiting for? Go watch it now.